Hello Virgo, welcome to Lightworker Tarot and Oracle. I appreciate you being here. This is a general reading for anyone with prominent Virgo placement in your chart. There will be an extension of this reading link below, or if you feel this is your story and you want a personal reading, or if you want to purchase any of my Oracle decks, the link to Etsy is also down below. Okay, Virgo in typical fashion. Here's some channeled messages from Spirit. And for you, this round anyway, it was really brief and to the point. Um, the very first thing that Spirit gave me is Virgo is taking control or taking control. This could be somebody you're connected to. I got taking control, very um, bold, strong, powerful energy, which is great. Um, and then they said that um, there's a lot to do and just a little time to do it. So you may be really busy. There, there may be a lot of planning and preparation you're doing for something, um, something you're taking the reins of um, in your life. Again, this could be somebody you're connected to. Um, visually, they gave me um, a little cartoon person's head with one of those little conversation bubbles and inside the bubble was in indecipherable stuff symbols words it was it was just a, a bunch of stuff and it filled the entire bubble which tells me that maybe there's either a lot going on in your head or um you know maybe <laughs> in typical virgo fashion maybe this is like what you have to do this could be a mental to-do list um it feels though that there. There's a, there's a lot of mental energy attached to that. So interesting. So let's see where we go with that, Virgo. Let's take a look at the energies that will be present for you in March. Spirit, what do you have for Virgo? What do you have for Virgo, please? What do they need to know about their journey in March? No, okay. Oh. Anything else? Yep, okay. Okay, well, that one wanted to come out. Bottom of the deck, purge and cleanse. Elements of your life cannot remain. People, situations, or anything else that's negative has to go. Okay, wow. Let's see what we have here. Okay. Find your truth. Perhaps you have been misguided by falsehoods. Now's the time to shine a light on what speaks to your heart and soul. Trauma and wounds. Deep familial and past life wounds are causing an impact in this life. Identify repetitive patterns to allow healing and releasing. My goodness, what have you been through or what has your person been through? Sometimes this is vice versa. So take what resonates for you and this could be your person's energy. Going through some really deep lessons, really deep hurt, deeply um, seated, you know, past stuff that they have to work through. Souls incarnate into the human experience to resolve past life experiences. Work through any painful lessons and turn them into an opportunity for growth presence. You play a vital role in a situation or relationship dynamic. Your involvement has a greater purpose than you may realize. Soul awakening. Consciousness around your soul's identity is happening now. You are joining others as part of a massive global awakening. Wow. Holy cow. Somebody is waking up. <laughs> the alarm clock just went off. <laughs> wow. All right. Well, let's see where we go with this. Energy around Virgo, please. Oh, wow. Look at this. All that glitters and breathe. Breathe. I feel like there's a situation that has been left behind. Someone has been maybe a little stress look at that tick tock a lot to do and very little time okay let's see what comes out what does virgo need to know about what they will experience in march please i just got rebirth with that regeneration card wow let's see what else <laughs> yeah 
Oh, bottom of the deck, we have peace. Finding peace, making peace in a situation. All right, let's see what we have. Oh my goodness, wow. Okay. All that glitters, there it is. All that glitters is not gold. Leaving something behind, orphaned, the exit. Time to go. Someone could be busily preparing things, um, next steps, you know, in their life. If this is about a transition of some sort, it, it is about finding maybe balance for themselves, to be fair. Balance in your connection. I feel like something is definitely being left behind. The fates, fate and destiny at play. Things happening according to universal plan, maybe not yours. And rebirth, I got, specifically I got rebirth with that, wow which feels very much like the old and the new. Interesting. I just did a reading for Leo that was, it had a similar flavor. Hmm, okay. So let's take a look at what else you need to know about the events that will transpire in March. What does Virgo need to know, Spirit? What does Virgo need to know? Other energies, please. What can you show us? Anything else, please? I just got everything that's happening is all part of a, a much bigger picture and bigger plan, okay? Okay, bottom of the deck, travel may or may not be relevant. Sometimes uh, that feels pretty specific, but it could be about a trip, um, vacation. Wow. Oh my, yeah. So <laughs> we have the loving man. I, I, Virgo, I feel like this is someone you are connected to. I do. This is someone who's got a lot going on and just a little time to do it. Planning and action. Wow. We have conflict letting go the healing light okay somebody's somebody is moving through major change it could be uh, coming out of conflict or um, you know this could be mental conflict I'm getting um, that there might be something they have to fight their way through I do feel like I'm I do feel like this is you know maybe cross watcher energy your person Something is definitely being left behind. It's going to be different for everybody. It can just be environment. It can be people. Okay. Sorry, I was pausing to see if I got anything else. Let's take a look at your energy in this situation, Virgo. What do you need to know? Virgo's energy, please. What do they need to know? crown chakra. Wow. Spiritual awakening, big time. I think I just, I set a different intention than I normally do. We have justice that kind of came out in reverse and the devil. Um, usually this is Virgo's energy and I don't think I said that. That's very interesting. I may do it again. We have crown chakra, justice in reverse, and the devil. Wow. Um, something that was so wrong, um, something that has been a difficult cycle is I feel being revealed, healed, and moved on from bottom of the deck. We have the star and the sun, the world and the lovers. Wow. All right. Energy around Virgo. I don't know why I feel like I didn't say that. If I did, well, my bad. Let's see what else comes out then. Strongest energy around Virgo, spirit. Strongest 
strongest energy around Virgo. Heart chakra. We have strength and the sun. Beautiful. Leo energy. You may be connected to a Leo. Um, I, I'm not a reader who often does that. You know who you're connected to. I don't, I just, I don't go there. But the sun. Um, I feel like you have the strength to get through something that maybe has been very difficult. I, I'm feeling um, definitely um, a heart opening. I, I do. This could also come in the form of love and compassion for another person. The light, energy, the sun, happiness, something coming to light, something being revealed to you. Okay, interesting. <coughs> Excuse me. So let's take a look at, we have healing light. Very interesting. I'm looking back at that. It could be that you are, um, I don't know. I, I'm just kind of getting a very loving, compassionate, bright energy around you. Maybe kind of showing the way. Okay, so let's take a look at the Illumination Oracles. What? Does Virgo need to know about this? How will things unfold in this situation in the month of March? Wow. There's that rebirth. We have renewal. What else? Anything else? Soulmate at the bottom of the deck. Okay, we have waiting for you, secret, illumination, healing your heart. Okay, something may come out, something may come to light for you. Um, I feel like you're connected to someone who you've been waiting for or who has been waiting for you. It could be that um, they're making plans to see you and you don't know it. Maybe you find out. <laughs> Maybe at the last minute. Soulmate, meeting someone new, past life connection. Wow. Boy, you guys may be connected to a Leo. You should watch that. Rejection, obstacle ahead, receiving a message. Okay, so I feel... Maybe you've been in separation from someone at a distance. There may be travel to move toward you or you them. They may not be telling you that they're coming. They may be, they may have other plans in their life that they don't share with you. That's another way to, to view this or something you don't know. Let's find out. What is it Virgo doesn't know? What is being kept from Virgo? Anything else? What is being kept from Virgo? What is withheld? And don't just tell me it's being withheld. <laughs> we have moving and blessings coming your way. Oh, wow. Okay. So your person could be planning um, a move. If you're at a, a long distance, this could be a relocation. Uh, blessings coming your way. Sometimes I look at this as financial opportunity. Um, you know, it can be material blessings. It can be, um, you know, some sort of a, hey, <laughs> guess what? <laughs> Um, wow. This could be a blessing that, you know, you've been, you've been wanting, you've been hoping for that's coming to you. Your person may, may just be doing some of this stuff behind the scenes. Okay. Very interesting. That feels kind of specific, but let's see. Bottom of the deck, we have stuck, fresh start, fixing what is broken, passionate romance, seize the opportunity. Could be work. Um, the opportunity that is so wow very interesting all right Virgo let's look at you and let's look at your person first we'll look at your energy Virgo's energy in this situation please let's look at Virgo specifically please Virgo's energy please 
anything else virgo's energy okay bottom of the deck the eight of cups i feel like this is uh, moving on from something maybe moving okay we have the queen of pentacles I feel like this is your energy being very um, grounded, stable, focusing on your money, your work. We have the Page of Cups and the Chariot. It could be you that's moving. It could be you that's on the move. Maybe for a job. Maybe you tell someone that. I'm going to clarify and then we're going to look at your person. So show us the Queen of Pentacles spirit. Clarify that. Page of Wands, uh, a new endeavor, a new opportunity, something that you are moving toward very, very quickly. R remember, we have a lot to do and little time to do it. So maybe this is your energy um, planning a move toward someone. Wow. <laughs> Bottom of the deck, we have the Six of Wands and the Tower. Let's look at the Page of Cups. Page of Cups. Anything else? Page of Cups. Two of Pentacles. Um, that's a lot to do and a little time to do it. You're, I think you're, you're figuring out um, perhaps what to do next in the situation, maybe even what to communicate or whether to communicate. We have the Ace of Swords, Clarity, Truth, Knight of Wands, Lovers. Interesting. Okay, let's keep going. Chariot. Let's look at the chariot. Ooh, justice reverse. I feel like this is the need to move forward because something has been um, a little upside down in your life or in this connection. I mean, we have the to be fair energy here. Queen of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Devil. Ooh, death. Yikes. There's that mental energy I was picking up with that, that, that bubble, that conversation bubble with all that jumbled stuff in it. I feel like it's, it's clarity about um, maybe that you've been stuck in an unfair situation. It has to come to an end. Spirit said, yes. Wow. I'll leave him there. Let's take a look at your person. Virgo's person, please. Spirit, what do you want to show us about Virgo's person? Cards are coming out sideways. God. All right. Bottom of the deck. Quiet. Withdrawn. Disconnected. Healing. Okay. Four of swords. Let's see what we've got here. Okay, spirit. Spirit. All right, this way, okay, and this way, okay. All right, we have, wow, the hanged man, reverse, the hermit, reverse, there's your card. We have the two of wands and the wheel of fortune. Somebody's really needing... Um, Somebody needs a perspective on, on maybe their own, their own truth and circumstances, your connection. I feel like your person is at a crossroads in life. This, this could be a cycle ending in their life. This can be an energy of, of good luck, things turning in a positive direction. This can be fate. So let's get some clarifiers. Let's look at the hangman reversed. Hangman reversed, please. Empress sideways. <laughs> I'll take it up right. Um, this is, you know, if you're if you're presenting as the empress, your person may be doing um, a lot of thinking about your connection. Maybe thinking about. Oh, wow. I just got what you deserve. Okay. Okay, let's keep going. Let's get one more. Okay. Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fortune. You may be seen as someone who's very stable, 
whose, um, whose life is on a positive trajectory. Maybe your person is kind of evaluating that, maybe wanting to be a part of that. I feel like there's such a disconnect in some way right now. Let's look at the hermit in reverse. Because I'm, I'm, I'm kind of getting that, you know, there's an, there's an isolation with this that I'm picking up. Um, a stuckness and the need to really like take a look at things. Um, I often see the hermit and the hanged man together and it's curious that they're both reverse. So let's, let's take a look at that. Hermit reverse for Virgo's person, please. Hermit reverse. This can also be um, if your person was an uh, is was kind of isolated from you. Perhaps they are making a move. Hermit reverse, please. Seven of Wands. Let's get another one. Hermit reverse. Seven of Wands. They may be, you know, a little resistant or defensive. Oh boy. Okay. Bottom of the deck, Seven of Swords. We have the Tower, the Seven of Pentacles, and the Page of Cups. You both have the Page of Cups. Perhaps wanting to talk, um, afraid of, you know, maybe the results of the conversation. I'm, I'm almost getting that the Tower might be part of uh, what comes through. Let's look at that Tower, please. Nine of Wands sideways. Boy, your cards can't make up their mind. I'm going to take it up, right? I feel like, <clears throat> pardon me, there is, there, there's a caution, a cautionary energy with this. Not wanting things to blow up. Okay. Let's look at this Two of Wands for your person. The lovers. It's decision time. Emperor at the bottom of the deck. So let, let's look at what the wheel is moving forward. Tell us about the Wheel of Fortune, Spirit. Knight of Cups, Eight of Cups. Leaving something behind, an offer of love. I feel like this is an emotional journey, an emotional transition that perhaps results in an apology, an offer of love. Wow. If things have been a little imbalanced or you've been breadcrumbed for a while, a long while. Okay, Spirit just underlined it, a long while. There's been a lot of uh, waiting, healing, rebalancing one's life. I, f I feel like there's something that's been happening and you're unaware. I, I think the conversation that transpires between the two of you is going to be pivotal. It's going to be pivotal. We'll look at that in the extended reading. Let's take a look at your relationship dynamic. <clears throat> Virgo and their person, please. What is the dynamic between them? Wow. Disconnect. Understand why someone has withdrawn emotionally or physically. This may also encourage time away to reflect. Yeah, that, that's uh, pretty apparent. What else? Dynamic between Virgo and their person, please. Family patterns. To a degree, we mimic what we observed growing up. Are those patterns healthy for you? It could be a period of time where um, there's some self-awareness going on. Uh, um, Reflection on one's circumstances. So, you know, it doesn't have to be a present circumstance. It doesn't even have to be a relationship. It can just be um, the results of what has occurred in one's life because of what we know to be true. Um, that can be for either of you, really. Let's get one more. The dynamic between Virgo and their person. Okay, Spirit just said... The moving on from the thing that doesn't glitter anymore is uh, beliefs. That's interesting. Wow. Okay, anything else? Dynamic between Virgo and 
their person. Bottom of the deck, voice your opinion. Be heard. <laughs> and then we have listen with empathy. So somebody needs to speak and somebody needs to just listen. Yep, yep. Understanding. The best way to understand someone is to listen without judgment. Wow. This is a big deal. Somebody is really concerned that what is said is going to cause a defensive reaction, perhaps, um, and they're, they're a little bit guarded about that. So just hear them out. You know, whatever it is, hear them out. Wow. Okay. Let's get some guidance for you, Virgo. In the extended, we'll take a much deeper look at what happened and what will transpire, how they feel, what they want. You know, this, this could go in a few directions. Okay, we have the card, they miss you, reach out. What else? Advice and guidance for Virgo. Purify your space. Break away from toxic people or situations that don't serve your highest good. My goodness, another one. Be aware of people and circumstances in your way that serve as a test of your will. As you are tested, remain in a high vibration to show the world how bright you shine. Bottom of the deck, the relationship you are in is serving to teach you something very important. Ooh, ooh, a little deception going on. Oh boy. Okay, um, this can apply to you. It can apply to them. There's something that I have a feeling will be revealed, right? Listen, show, show understanding or show compassion. Allow them to say what they need to say. Okay. Interesting. I'm going to leave it there, Virgo. If you choose to follow me to Vimeo, the link is below. If not, I will see you in April. Have a great month. Take care.